I mean, a lot. Like, <laughs> well, and even in Kansas, like when we first started, what we realized is, you know, being young looking kids that are doing this and like we kind of got better and better at it. Like we figured out, okay, we can talk our way out of the cops like every once in a while. And that definitely happened. And I think at that point we were just like, we find it so much more interesting to have that like sort of fear of we will get caught yeah. uh, because no one else is doing that. Like imagine seeing someone actually putting, you know, Crimes. crime on on the <laughs> online and minor like running, crime minor, minor trust, bad people. trust trust trespassing yeah, for sure a little bit of trespassing exactly but we got arrested eventually did you so yeah, yeah. where did you guys get arrested Tampa Florida oh boy which yep, is yep. our first mistake did you sure. get thrown into the hooch like into the the lockdown with everybody um he I did. did for 24 hours Sam didn't because <laughs> This is so stupid. You got stupid. locked in for 24 hours? Uh, like a little less than that, probably like 20 hours or so. But I had to stay overnight in the jail while Sam was able to like bail himself out. But pretty so much. We did a lot of like, you know, we did a lot of trespassing or whatever. Yeah. But trespassing is not, is usually like a fine, like, you know, 75 bucks or something like that, depending on the it. state. Uh, but sadly, this particular location was under construction. Mm -hmm. And apparently construction properties are government properties. Oh. In Florida. In Florida. Florida, and so they charged us with a felony. A felony. Ooh, yeah. boy. And the, it was really strange because when we got arrested, uh, there was like eight cops that showed up to the scene with dogs and everything. That's why we got out of the place, by the way. Um, and they, they, like the deputies were super nice to us. It was the sheriff that was like, oh, these are YouTubers. Like We have to make an example out mm. of them. And I had two fake IDs from when I was 20 trying to get into the bars, like still stuck in my wallet. <laughs> super stupid. Like no reason for that at all. Just a dumb move. Um, and so I had three felonies. And oh my it made God. me like not able to be able to bail myself out. Uh, they cap it at like five, 5,000. And uh, each felony is 2,000 bail. Um, and so I had 6,000. So I had to wait for Sam to bail himself out so he could bail me out. So I got wow. taken back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Felonies. So how did how did it play out? I was going to say, dropped? Like, I ended up you know, bailing myself out. So I think I was only in there for like seven, eight hours. And then I went to go work on his bail outside. But you had a not a horrible time. <laughs> I had a great time in jail. It was, did it you was have sick. fun? It was sick. Uh, really? I, I wasn't expecting it to be like a good experience but uh yeah it's funny because like we arrive and uh oh my gosh all like our viewers and stuff make fun of us for this but that day like i decided randomly just to like rock like a justin bieber like merch shirt and so i'm like coming in here looking like a teeny bop like emo kid like with justin bieber shirt like piercings and stuff like that and like everybody's just like turning their heads and i'm like oh this is when i die like i'm right? gonna die here um but they took out like all my piercings and stuff like that uh said goodbye to sam like we were in like a big waiting room um and so when they brought me to the back the first night was i only stay there for one night but like that night was super scary um but for the rest of the time like Long story short, like I got moved to another pod, like a felon pod, because I had three under my name. Uh, and Boy. I asked the deputy, he was super nice, and he could like see that I was like uncomfortable being there, of course. And I was just like, what should I do? And he said, dude, honestly, I would just go grab a book, go to your cell and just like lay low. Sam's going to bail you up very soon. I said, OK, that sounds like a plan. So I didn't talk to anybody. I was trying to like mean mug and like be like serious the entire time. Grabbed a book, went to like my cell and just stayed in there. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I'm, like, reading my book. I hear the door start to jiggle. Um, and I'm, like, okay, this is when I die. Um, I'm about to meet my, like, cellmate. He comes in, like, super scary-looking guy. Um, I'm, like, freaked out at first, but he just turned out to be the nicest guy ever. Like, he was, like, what are you in for? He's, like, this is what I'm doing. And, like, he asked about YouTube and told him, like, why, like, we do what we do and all that stuff. He's, and like, he, I'm in for murder. <laughs> yeah, I yes. killed my wife. What was he in for? He said it was, like, it was something with, like, drug smuggling cocaine somewhere. Oh, Jesus. It was something like that. <laughs> real And real I was, like, crime. I trespassed. <laughs> I trespassed for you, too? Yeah, it's, like, I, that's why <laughs> I didn't want to, like, different. say anything about it. I was, like, these guys are going to think I'm, like, the biggest pussy in the world. Oh, my thing. God. Um, that's but, probably better, though. That way, they, you know, they don't think you're a threat. Oh, yeah. for sure, for sure. Yeah. But we had a conversation for literally, like, an hour and, like, shot the shit and he you know, broke down each other's walls and stuff, and he was becoming, like, a friend, actually. Uh, and then he was like, well, I'm going to go back out to the pod because there's, like, a main area where everybody can, like, hang out where there's, like, basketball and places you can watch TV and stuff like that. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm probably just going to chill here. And he was like, no, no, you should really come with me. Like, I have a lot of friends in, in here. I've been in here for, like, a few months. And so I was like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay, why not? And so this guy, I just 
took a chance with this situation but this guy like took me under his wing like introduced me to like all of his friends in in jail and we played like basketball and <laughs> made like a friend group TV. In jail. <laughs> literally wow. like they were all asking about like youtube and all that stuff and then sam bailed me out like Three hours later. Did probably. you stay in touch with him at all? No, no. I told him to DM me um, afterwards, but of course, like, just couldn't find it. At right. all. I mean, I don't even know how long he was, because we were in jail, not, like, prison. Right. And so he was still awaiting his trial, because he couldn't even, like, bail himself out. So who knows if he even got even more time? Like, I don't even know. It sounds like it, if he's probably. selling cocaine. Yeah, or, like, carrying large amounts. I don't even yeah. know. Let's, but um yeah, haven't heard from him. Absolutely crazy Wait. though is that morning, like we had no idea. We're like, all right, this is just a casual day. We always do these like uh abandoned videos and then we'll just work on editing them or whatever. Anyway, I walk out, I don't have my phone because they take all that stuff. And our buddy, uh, who is gonna help us drive us home or whatever, he comes in, he's like, Do you know what's going on? We're like, No. And he's like, for the past like tw- like twelve hours, you guys have been number one worldwide trending. Free Sam and Colby. Huge. You guys are everywhere. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, like, I'm walking out. Like, he's sorry to interrupt, but like, the deputy's bringing me out and being like, Sam finally bailed you out. He was like, But what's your name, by the way? And I was like, uh, Cole Brock. And he was just like, I've had thousands of girls call this jail to try to bail you out. I was like, Wait, what? And then as I'm leaving, there's fans outside. It's like a meet and greet, like outside, like fans waiting for me. And How so many like, fans? What? It was like three or four. Um, yeah. So it wasn't like a, like a huge thing, but like, um, it was people that figured out like where the jail was itself yeah. and all that. So. A lot of people were calling, but it was it was so interesting because we never would have thought that that was going to be the big start. But from that night getting arrested, it completely blew up and changed our career. Yeah. It was so weird. And I mean, in terms of numbers, just so you know, like we were getting on the abandoned videos like a little less than a million, so like 700, 800K, which we were very happy with. But after we got arrested – we knew we couldn't do like the illegal stuff anymore. And so um, while during the abandoned days, and we can get to the story in a second, but like we went to the Queen Mary and had our first haunted experience ever. And so it just made sense to us that like, well, this is a legal thing we could just do at hotels and stuff. Mm. Why not just do like the haunted, haunted instead? Well, what, what, how much did the numbers change? Up to like, like three, Five, like two million, million. Three, three to four million, like the wow. first one. And then they just kept growing from there. Yeah. So millions after. So tell me about the Queen Mary. That's the beginning for you guys. That's and the definitely. number one origin. And you went there to do what? So what was really interesting is we did a lot of the abandoned mm-hmm. stuff, but every once in a while we would do like a haunted thing because those creepy stories and, you know, the lore of everything is really interesting, whether or not you believe in it yeah. or not. At that time, we didn't really believe in any of the, the ghost stuff. We're like, all right, but this is going to be a great video because everyone loves telling the stories. 